Well, for the first time, America is getting a look at the biggest passenger airplane ever built. CBS News correspondent Kelly Wallace is live at JFK Airport here in New York with that story. Good morning, Kelly. Good morning, Julie. Well, it certainly took Airbus 380 a long time to get here. The company has been plagued with financial problems and turnover at the top. Three CEOs, in fact, in the past year. But now the company is hoping that travelers and American Airlines like what they see. A big moment for the biggest passenger plane on the planet. The Airbus 380 touching down for the first time in the United States. Think of it as a supersized version of a 747 with a wingspan wider than a football field and space for more than 500 passengers, 100 more than the average 747. The walls go pretty much straight up. There's a lot of room. We got a tour from Marianne Gretchen of Airbus. It looks like a seat like this is roomier than a seat on a typical plane. Is that right? It is indeed. This configuration that you're seeing right now is standard. The extra width of the aircraft allows the airlines to give everybody a little bit more wiggle room. Customized amenities could include bars, windows in the restrooms, suites in first class, and more. Give us a sense of the possibilities. Well, without there, spilling any secrets. There's no bowling alleys <laughs> okay. and there's no hot tubs because those are things that we get asked about all the time. But a very real possibility is a casino or a duty-free shop. It certainly hasn't been smooth sailing for Airbus. A two-year delay cost the company billions of dollars and could cost thousands of employees their jobs. Airbus executives hope the worst days are behind them. Out of our 14 customers today with 156 firm motors, every one of them has the right to cancel, yet every one of them is staying with the program because this airplane is worth waiting for. Kevin Page of Lufthansa Airlines was one of the lucky ones aboard the test flight from Frankfurt to JFK. Kevin, what yes. was it like? It was incredible. It was quiet. That was the, the number one impression. Uh, when we turned onto the runway to, to take off, you expect to hear the four engines roaring to get something that big off the ground, and it just never came. It's maybe quiet, but it's definitely not cheap. Each one costs about $300 million. And while international carriers like Singapore Airlines and Lufthansa have agreed to buy a few of these Airbus 380s, so far, no U.S. airline company has. Julie? CBS's Kelly Wallace at Kennedy Airport. Thanks, Kelly.